Hello everybody, my name is Cindy and I like to post videos on beauty, fashion, and vlogs around town where I live. Today we're at the Tokyo X, which is kind of like a Japanese anime convention and we tried lots of yummy foods and bought some cute merch. These katsu sandos are super yummy and I really love that fried spam and egg one on the right. It was hosted at the Energy Center in Houston and I think it was their first time hosting this event here but it was super crowded and really really fun. A lot of this vlog is gonna have to be voiceovers just because it was super loud and so it was very loud on the vlog audio but all the artists booths were so aesthetic and I really literally just wanted to buy everything. I really love the Sanrio booth and I honestly was looking for some Cinemarole merch. Yo. In case you don't know, Cinema Roll is my favorite Sanrio character ever, but I really wanted a new like keychain clip thing for my keys, but I didn't really find any cute Cinema Roll themed ones. But I really loved this plush that I found for the purse, so I'm gonna clip it on my purse. And these boba ones are super, super cute too. Richie is so excited to show it off. He doesn't know how to focus the camera. Oh, there he got it. Okay, look, there's a little bear inside with little boba balls, so cute. Um, and then I found these hair clips that were furry and cinnamon roll themed, which was super, super cute, so I had to look for the cutest style. All of them were differently designed too, so it was nice to pick and choose. And Richie caught me off guard. <laughs> and there was these gacha machines um, that you could play on. We didn't take a look at these. Should I cut the clip off? Oh wait, let me take a picture. Today I learned I can bargain apparently, so I was able to bargain for both of these for $8 each. And look how cute it is! I just can't wait to use it. I think it's going to look so stunning during the winter time. And look at these cute little clay little objects. I just love them so much. And then look at all the cat memes. I just love those merch. And we saw so many art styles that were so, so cute. And yeah, tons of them. They're everywhere. And uh, cars, yep. Don't know much about them, but apparently there's some that are from Japan that are very, very um, exclusive. Oh, yo, yo. We Yeah, so who, guess who was more um, geeked out about this exhibit, but honestly, it was super cool to see all of these old school style of vehicles, and this one was really, really decked out. The drinks were enticing, but we saw someone with these bear-styled boba cups and they were reusable, so we held off on it, which you'll see later. But look at all these squishable plushies, they're so cute. And then we saw these guys sumo wrestling and it was honestly pretty funny and pretty cool to see out in the open here. Oh! 
was also a main stage for performances, which we saw glimpses of. But I did bump into another Sanrio booth and got this hair clip, which was matching with the claw clip, and I thought it was super cute. And so now I have a bunch of these accessories on my head, just walking around. And honestly, I can't wait to use them. I still think it's giving like winter vibes, which is super, super cozy and yeah, very cute. Guess what? Why were we not surprised? She bumped into another Sanrio booth with these cute cinema roll ears. Okay, but to be fair, this was the last one, okay? I just, I had to get it. To slow down my cinema roll addiction, uh, we stopped by the food court, which had so many options, I was kind of overwhelmed. Got chicken yakitori. Ooh. That's good. That's good. $5. The flavor was there, it was good, and it was only $5 a skewer, but it was a little dry, so. Yeah, but we really love this Wagyu hot dog. We got the Okonomiyaki um, and we had it with QP soy glaze katsubushi, please don't roast me on the pronunciation, and nori. And it was so flavorful, definitely recommend this order. Then we got parched, so we decided to look for that bear boba place, and we actually found it. It ended up being $27, which was a little pricey, but this container is reusable and you get two free refills. We got passion fruit flavor, which I definitely would not recommend because it was a little bit diluted than other flavors. This booth with the meme cats are so funny. They have it in keychains and stickers, which are super cute. Richie got the sticker for his car and I got this huh, pin. <laughs> This is me being directionally challenged as always because I never know which direction I'm coming from and where I need to go but we stumbled upon this really nice sticky note wall that you could just draw and add your doodles on. Uh, a little sussy there but um, all these artworks are so so pretty. I love these prints. They're so detailed. There was a huge line for this bakery, but we didn't get a chance to try. Just thought these were really, really funny. Hello vlog, we're back from the Tokyo X um, festival. And we were able to, I was able to bargain for the first time ever. So I bargained pretty much for everything we got. So like the keychain plushie and the hair clip and the claw clip and this headband which I have right here and then let me show you the hair clip that's also funny and cute too with the peach on it um, but yeah so the guy wanted the keychain he has a keychain here and the, okay so he wanted the keychain for <laughs> he wanted the keychain for $10 and then $8 and I was asking him 
to do eight dollars and eight dollars and then he said no and then I pouted and then he was like okay <laughs> and then for this headband at the other booth he wanted it for twenty dollars and then I pouted again I didn't even have to say anything this time and then he was like okay 15 call me for all your bargaining needs I'm here for you I'm basically a pro at it so you know <laughs> It was a really large convention. I've only been to Anime Matsuri before. Honestly, they had a lot of like merch, a lot of food, and a lot of boba places. But personally, for like the logistics wise, it was kind of like, kind of wild getting in because like we had to wait for like an hour. Hour and a half. The line was super long for um, bag check and then also like scanning in our QR codes for the tickets. There was only like two lines and it was like super super long and it was like moving really slowly but once we got in it was really nice and spacious so yeah what did you think I wish there was a bit more room for activities mm -hmm. then yeah they gotta do something about the line yeah I think if they made just if they made the line just much more efficient then it would have been a better experience as far as that goes. Mm -hmm. Food vendors are cool mm -hmm. so they were nice six mobile places at least in there um, um, a lot of like big names like t-top fangcha too yeah they had like lady m uncle tetsu cheesecakes there's chocolates We then stopped by this Japanese cafe in Sugarland that just opened. The vibes are super aesthetic and we got this really cute sticker. I got the Moshi Moshi and Richie got his matcha latte. I did taste more espresso than matcha in my drink, but his matcha latte was really good with sweetener. And I also got some blueberry muffin pastries, which were yummy. They had a bit of salt on top, and I was continuing my favorite series, if you book girlies know. We also got banana bread. This is good banana bread. <laughs> it was really spacious, and everyone there was super friendly. Would definitely want to go back and try their other matcha drinks as well. But that's all for today's vlog. Thanks for watching.